Microsoft's Office community, and welcome back to another World of Tanks console video. So in this video, I'm going to do a quick comparison between the Leopard 1A1, which is the tank that you get from the Season Pass when you reach level 100, and the Leopard VT2. So this is the brand new premium tank that is 50% off, and so yeah, that's in the store right now. So I'm just going to be comparing both of the Leopards to see which Leopard you shall get. So first of all, both Leopards are Arrow 2. They're both mediums, and they're both of Western Alliance German. And so Leopard 1A1 is like the middle tier of Era 2. And Leopard VT2 is like the top tier of Era 2. So yeah. So let's start off right quick. So the DPM on the version 2 is worse. Also, this is AP, AP, and Heat. This is AP, AP, and Hefs. Hesh. So to let you know right there. So the penetration is so much better on the 1A1. And this is hash penetration. Hep penetration. So that's your 570 damage right there. And the VT2 has the better um, alpha. Which is Cold War. So this is more like 470, 480. This is more like 420, 440. This should be hitting for... Obviously, the reload is much better on the 1A1 because it has the lower alpha. Um, yeah, lower alpha. Uh, the caliber of the 1A1 is a 105 and the VT2 is a 120, which means you can be overmatching more on the VT2. Show velocity is so much quicker on the VT2. All right, that's 1650. Gotta say, it feels really nicely. Now, here's one of the downsides about the VT2 the ammo capacity. It has 21,420 potential damage. The 1A1 has 27,600. So, you're really going to be low on ammunition. Anytime in accuracy is so much better, better on the 1A1. Turret rotation is better on the VT2. Gun depression is both 9 degrees on both leopards and 20 degrees on the elevation, so it's good. Top speeds are the same, and the reverse speed is a little bit worse on the VT2. Engine power is the same, but the VT2 is heavier because it gets better armor. So, which gives it terrible horsepower per ton at 17.76. Climbing up hills in this thing is absolutely terrible. Terrain, right? terrain resistances are terrible in this tank also on the VT2. So off-road driving would be really nice on this tank. Track traverse is also pretty slow uh, pretty slow compared to the 1A1. Uh, let's come back to the armor because I want to do a special thing about the armor. Also, the concealments for both of the Leopards are at 27% while steel. Fire chance is 10%. The VT2 actually earns less silver. The tank XP, VT2, earns more XP, but it also earns less for XP. Most tanks earn like 5% for XP, but the VT2 earns less for XP. The VT2 has a much better view range, but the signal range are the same. It's Cold War, so signal range doesn't really matter. And the price is 1000 one 500 better than the one I mean more expensive than the 1A1 now the hit points is actually 2930 now looking at the paper stats of the 1A1 versus the Leopard VT2 as you can see both are very similar like 70 70 but it does have a space armor so it gets 100 millimeter play and a 70 millimeter play it gets better side armor at 35 because there's also space armor on the side. 25 is the same for the both rears. Uh, the VT2 it doesn't look like it right now, but it has the way better turret armor. Like, completely turret armor. And the 1A1 gets a little bit of space armor at its gun mantlet. It's 66, and the space armor is 65. Side and the back, it's 60. The, one, the VT2 has space armor on the side and the back. And I'll show you the armor in a second. VT2 has about 400 more hit points, 430 more hit points than the 1A1. So now let's just go jump in the game and look at the armors of the two tanks. All right, so now we're in the garage 
and we're going to be looking at the armor of the 1A1. So, as you can see, the armor values of the 1A1, see there's that 70 millimeter plate for the upper hull, 66 right there on the front of the turret, there's your space armor for the gun mantlet, 65, so that's 66 plus a 65 on the gun mantlet, 60 on the side of the turret, 50 like in these weird places, um, 49 somewhere, it's right up there on the view viewfinder. 40, as you can see, the armor is not existent on the tank. There's 35 getting overmatched. 30 overmatchable. And just low mounts of armor. This tank is pretty much a glass cannon. Now we move on to the VT2. Now the VT2. Here's the armor. <laughs> armor for days. So 330 right there on the turret and sunspots. 310, a little bit more on the turret on the sides. 300 right there on the gun. 280 on the gun mantlet. 250 more. Like, this is armor. AT jails are not going to hit you hard. They're not going to penetrate you. It's just, you're... Basically, if you want to get shot by AT gems, take it in the turret. Or you could actually do it in the upper hole. Because that's 100 right there. Then there's 70 more right there. So that's pretty nice. It's just space all over this tank. So you get a little bit more armor than the 1A1. Especially in the turret. And that's pretty much about the VT2 versus the Leopard 1A1. Also, tomorrow I'll be having a video out on the Leopard VT2. So stick around. And remember to subscribe because why was you not? And also remember to slap fish because why was you not? And peace out. See ya.